Hey, what's going on YouTube? Sick Eric back again with another video. And today we're going to be doing a quick overlook of the beta version of Android Q for the OnePlus 7 Pro. Now, of course, you know, I just did a video on the developer preview 5 yesterday. Now, they went ahead and officially released beta 1 for Android Q for the OnePlus 7 Pro. And this is excellent news. I went ahead and installed it. Links will be posted down below so you guys can go and check this out because this is really, really cool. Everything seems to work a lot better and seems to be more refined on this build version. All you're going to have to do is go ahead and go to the link that I post down below. And right here where it says OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro, you're just going to click on OnePlus 7 Pro and it'll start to download immediately. Now once you're done with that and it is done downloading, you're going to go ahead and go into your files and you're going to go into storage and internal storage and then go into download. You're pretty much just going to uh, find that um, download that you just downloaded a zip file and you're going to click on it. Let's see if I still have it on here. So yeah, you're going to hold and pre long press click on the dots and you're going to pretty much just copy it and then you're going to want to copy it straight to internal storage as I have done here and it'll put it at the bottom zip you do not need to rename it or anything it is a straight up zip it's not a, a jar file or anything and you're all good to go with that so once you're done with that you're just going to go ahead and go into settings go into system system updates and it's going to check so it is up to date and this says it's the uh, oneplus 7 pro beta 1 so you're going to click on the little gear up top local upgrade and your file should be right there all you got to do is click on that it'll go through the installation process and then ask you to reboot so that is really really cool let's go ahead and go down into the uh some of the uh changes that have been on here so system upgraded to android 10 brand new ui system it still looks the same as the developer preview 5 a uh, little bit more refined but it's pretty much the same uh enhanced location permissions and uh new customization features allows you to change icon shapes all of that same stuff is the same as the developer preview 5 version which is customization menu right here you know your themes your accent colors, shapes, icons, etc. Your clock styles, fingerprint animations, and your horizon light settings as well. So all of that is pretty much identical to developer preview 5. Full, dream, full screen gestures uh, are pretty much the same. The uh, nav bar has changed a little bit. So if you go into buttons and gestures, and then you have the uh, home back and recents, nav bar they are closer together now uh, on the developer preview 5 they were spaced out a little bit i prefer this you know as opposed to the spaced out it's totally subject you know it's up to you guys uh, and then you also have the navigation gestures which are the sides to go back home swipe up and then you also have the regular gestures which is middle home back back and then you hold the home and it gets you into your recents menu as well so pretty much the gestures are the same as dp5 uh added bottom navigation bar to allow switching left or right for recent uh apps game space app which is i pretty much don't use it's an app to control your games and your gaming modes these are the apps that you know you could have on there to start or if you have any games i don't have any games on my device so I don't I don't really play any games you know as far as that goes so let's go ahead and go back to the settings smart display uh, support intelligent info based uh, on specific items locations for ambient display so if you uh, have your ambient display on it should show you some weather down here at the bottom or if you save you're playing music or something it will show whatever music you're playing at the bottom when you lift it up of course again just like my last video i do not have any weather information post posted down there 
uh, message now blocked by keywords for message messages spam settings blocking settings so the uh, messaging app now allows you to block stuff so really really cool stuff let's go ahead and jump down into it now one of the uh, really really cool features I like is going to be in the camera I'm just going to be showing you uh, the system everything pretty much looks the same as DP5 as my video from yesterday go ahead and check that out everything has not changed and it's pretty much the same I haven't noticed any uh, major changes here other than nav bar gestures uh, I'm trying to think of what else has changed let me go ahead and show you my about phone Android version so this is security patch level 5 so it is up to date a little bit up to date as far as ahead it's September 4th so that's really really nice all the pixels are going to be receiving their Android version now so OnePlus is not far behind as you can see OnePlus 7 Pro beta 1 on build number so everything is up to date so really really cool um, stats right there I'm very very excited to own this device because it is I think the software is a little bit better than the pixel software pixel software a lot of people say it can get boring because it's really not much there you know to customize it's the same uh, oxygen OS has a little bit more customization and I just like it a lot better it's still smooth still fast so one of the changes is in the camera mode now OnePlus has definitely listened to everybody first of all you go to video uh, you also have option for super steady which is on which works great and then if you click that off you'll go back and then you also have all your options for 1080p 1080p 60 4k 4k 60 now get this we finally have options for wide angle video using the uh, wide angle video uh, lens for video which is nice you also have your regular lens and then you also have telephoto three times zoom video taking as well so this is really really cool oneplus has definitely listened to us so uh, we got the option to record video in wide angle now one little thing i hope that they do include on the final version is options to change different lenses while you're recording it's sort of stuck on whichever one you click on you cannot switch between the two and another thing which is totally not a big deal for me but it only works on uh, 1080p 60 or 4k 60 it will not work on 1080p 60 I mean sorry it'll only work on 1080p 30 and 4k 30 as you can see right there it shows it you click on 60 it only shows the one lens 4k shows all lenses 4k 60 just the one lens now it's not really that much of a deal breaker but I'm pretty sure they might include that on the final version I'm just happy that they included this on here which is nice you still have all your photo stuff uh, portrait mode apparently has been improved as well you also have different options for wide angle on portrait mode as well to capture more in your picture let's see if it does it with the, the front facing camera there I am right there it only has the one and then video as you can see everything is the same let's go ahead and switch that back uh, nightscape you still have nightscape and the two different uh, wide angle and regular lens for nightscape as well so really really cool changes here uh, not much in the uh, change department in the settings department you still have your custom modes ultra wide lens correction manual HD control HDR control smart content detection etc you know all your triple long exposure stuff and everything so really really nice uh, this is really coming along nicely for the OnePlus 7 Pro the first beta version for Android Q is finally here guys so go ahead and go into that link below and install it now I just did this today so I don't know how good the battery uh, life is going to be I'll keep you informed and if you guys would like to see some video footage of the wide angle uh, camera taking video and the telephoto let me know in the comments down below I'm thinking about doing a video on that if you guys want to see any of the footage that this phone could take in wide angle um, 4k 
30 and maybe I'll do 10 80p 30 as well so really really cool uh, this version seems a lot more uh, fluid and stable than the dp5 dp5 was great definitely an improvement from dp4 but the beta one is definitely a lot uh, more finalized so it could only get better from here guys so thank you guys for watching links will be posted down below if you want to go ahead and check out uh, this article and download the zip file so you can install uh, you can install this over 9511 updates or dp4 dp5 I installed it over the DP5. It did not erase your data, just to let you guys know. It is safe and it should be fine. If you want to do a factory reset afterwards, just do a backup, do a factory reset. It wouldn't hurt. Um, so with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Thumbs down if you didn't. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell for future notifications on my channel. Peace.